Attorneys sparred over department policy in the second half of testimony in former LMPD Detective Brent, Brent Hankinson's civil rights trial today. But the most dramatic testimony came from Kenneth Walker, whose single shot at officers when they busted open the front door caused them to shoot back. Wave News reporter Mark Stevens joins us now to share more about the emotional moments in court today. And when prosecutors played the 911 recording that Kenneth Walker made after the shooting stopped, he started wiping away tears and had to pause before continuing to tell the jury what he heard and saw that evening. Now, Walker told jurors he had gone to dinner with Taylor that night and started watching a movie in bed when they got home. He said they awoke to someone beating on the door. Walker said he never heard anyone say police. He said Taylor yelled, who is it, twice, and he yelled the same question a third time. When the front door burst open, he fired a warning shot which hit Detective John Mattingly. Mattingly and Miles Cosgrove fired back. Walker dropped to the floor and tried to pull Taylor down next to him. He told the jury it sounded like a war. Now, prosecutors showed jurors three photos of the hallway where he had been laying down on his stomach. The photos showed Taylor's body on the ground with some blood on the wall. Hankison's defense team focused on Walker's firearms. He admitted to owning an AR-15 and said he had shot it in the air on New Year's. However, he said he sold it to a friend of his before the police raid that night. Hankison testified in the state case against him that he saw someone holding a rifle. A rifle casing and a rifle round were found later in the apartment. In addition, we heard from FBI and the forensics experts. We also heard from LMPD Sergeant Jason Vance, who helped lead the public integrity unit investigation at Taylor's apartment. Vance said even if a police officer perceives a threat, they have to identify a target. And he said shooting through a window covered by uh, blackout curtains would be a violation of that policy. More testimony tomorrow. For now, live outside the federal courthouse, Mark Stevens, Wave News.